All right, here we go. Back for round two. Wish our opponent good luck with a pretty keepable hand. I mean, we got our removal, but uh, I'm not going to mulligan it. Our, our opponent mulligan to six. And we got some early game. We got some late game. It's all good. Hopefully, we can draw into some action. Ooh, plain black. That's a great merchant. Hopefully, we can uh, draw some cards to curve into that bad boy. Nope, not quite. So, yeah, he missed a land drop. That's a little unfortunate. Alright, well, let's just play, keep playing black, black lands. Alright. Well, we have actually no way to interact with that, so we're just going to freak his cure it. I mean, I could wait till if he wanted to idle on it up. Like, we did pass some uh, um, ordeals of Perforos, or Eidolons. I keep saying Eidolon when I know it's ordeal. But, uh, oh, come on, Disciple. Oh, jeez. Like, it, it could have been correct to just wait. I just don't want him to, like, ordeal have God's willing kind of thing. That card's really annoying. All right, well, I'm just going to kill that. That card is so annoying. I know I'm, I'm wasting my removal. Like, I have tons of it when I really don't. All right, we just got another one. Let's just get a Grey Merchant down. It's a little unfortunate we couldn't curve a Grey Merchant into a Grey Merchant or draw any of our three Disciples or anything like that, but... Alright, see, like, that. that's something I would have wanted to save my removal for. Well, this is so. If I idle on this up, I'm just gonna idle on it up. Let's just see if he wants to do anything. Let's just, yeah, idle on this guy up and beat for three. I mean, he's gonna. It, it, it's actually netting one damage. Like it's not. It's not really doing anything. But yeah, maybe you know what? It's early enough in the game that this card actually doesn't matter. I probably shouldn't have killed it. All right. Well, let's hope he doesn't have God's Willing. <laughs> Too bad there wasn't any uh, enchantment, like, uh, like uh, removal. Like, if Sip was, like, a sorcery enchantment or something. I don't know. And we could get it back with Freak's Meta. That'd be pretty cute. Yeah, it's just the, the Scholar is going to be a bit annoying throughout this game. Alright, well that's cool that he tapped that. Alright, let's well, be ish. It might even be correct to just play this. Uh, um, I probably could have held onto that land, but whatever. Uh, I guess this, this is fine now. I want him to kill this great merchant. <laughs> I want to be able to get. Something back here. Well, and see, that's a card that is pretty annoying. And he's going to get have a bunch of flyers. Yeah, all those guys are flying. I mean, there's no reason not to attack for two. I don't, I don't know what he's thinking so hard about there. We're drawing, drawing a bit too many lands. I'm gonna keep bashing for three. Like, I 
I don't want to play this Freak as Mender. I'll just play Eidolon. So he can't attack with... I, I guess that was stupid. I totally forgot his guys could get flying. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so dumb. I totally forgot this was a human. Alright, the bones is good. So he bottom topped. So not the worst. So he's leaving back guys. Oh, that's a card. I think we just play that in attack. I, I wanna play it now. That's cute. Yeah. And that's the thing, like this card is just a, a win. Like like he can't beat six flyers in the air and if he wanted to block this, we just freak his mender it, get it back. Like it's just it's just gross. And that's that's why when I saw that I was just just like why why pass that card? Like he especially because there wasn't a common missing, meaning that he could have taken a foil rare. It just and an uncommon was taken. I mean, maybe he took a god Caesar Vengeance and just wanted to play blue with with you know, it's it's fine. But this card just wins games when it comes down, which is just why I just can't believe he passed it. Mm -mm. Sorry about that, that was just my phone. Um, so against this guy, like I, I don't think we need Boone. I also don't think we need these Phalanxes though. I feel like his deck is slow. I mean, it, it, he did Mulligan and missed a land drop, but I feel like because he's playing those one fours, I just feel like his deck's slow enough. Uh, we're definitely leaving Freakus Cure in. Um, like we could take out these Phalanxes. I, I think I actually want to bring in, in uh, Xenagos. Bring in this Unknown Shores. Uh, take out a, two Swamps for... Let's put in a Mountain. That's probably fine. And... Screw it. No, Lightning Strike doesn't kill enough. Yeah, did he? I don't think he had really any enchantments. Corsair doesn't match up very well against his 1 4s. Yeah, let's just leave a Phalanx in. It's a defensive creature. I'm just trying to think if that's... So we only have three. That gives us five green sources, two red sources, plus our unicorns. That's fine. Let's run it like this. I just feel like Xenagos could just, just be a big pain in his bum. Yeah, this is fine. So he doesn't have any disciples or anything. I thought he's... Leave with the swamp in case we draw for Ikus Cure. But I mean, unicorn into disciple or lash if we need it. All right, well, that card's annoying. Freak is here off the top. Nope. All right. Yeah, this card can get out of hand, but... I mean, he didn't look like he had tons of pump spells. All right. I mean, that that's fine. Let's just hope he doesn't... Oh, there's no reason to show the green. I don't think we showed him a green card, so... I don't think... He knows what a green splash is for. Alright. So we're on a pretty good clock here. Yeah, as much as I want a Disciple. I, just, I hope he doesn't have a God's Willing. Because he could easily have a 2 mana pump.
And actually, I'm going to do it now in case he does have a pump spell to protect it. Uh, he doesn't deal us the damage. But I, I think we have to try to remove this as soon as possible. All right. That makes me feel better. I'm fine taking two for a couple turns. Play Disciple, get something out of his hand. Um, we might even want to go uh, Minotaur into Unicorn next turn, and then the next turn play uh, Born Overlord. Let's see what he does, though. All right, yeah, that's we, we need to get some Flyers down, because we're taking five next turn. All right, never mind. I think that's a bit better than doing nothing, essentially, and then maybe playing a Born Overlord next turn. Like, we, we have a semi-healthy life total. Just hope he doesn't put any anything too beefy out. But, like, if he plays a Scholar or something... I mean, Scholars can be annoying because it can actually just kill us. All right, so he's not doing anything. Well, that helps. Um, I don't think we need to play a Born Overlord. Let's just uh, do this. And play Disciple. Get to see his hand. And then play Overlord next turn and get uh, five Harpies. It seems, seems fine. So he's, he might just Lash of the Whip something. I don't, I don't know. All right. So I mean, we still get to look at the last two cards in his hand. They must just not be good, and it means we probably would have taken the lash. Uh, what he should have done is waited till this triggers on the stack, and then uh, lash of the whip this because yeah, let's just take boon. So he has swamp in his hand. Yeah. So this, this Overlord's going to do do some work for us here. He's going to put some blockers in play, put some beats on. See what he's got here. Sip. Ooh, that's a good one. That's really good, actually. And uh, I am going to chump. I don't want to go to three. Then we're going to sack this unicorn. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, screw it. We're not attacking. No, we're not blocking. Is this even? This might even be lethal. Nope, he's at one. Whoops. Wait, how many? Okay, I was gonna say, do I have enough to play Bale Fight on? All right, well, we drew, we drew pretty well these games. Yeah, that's, that's not enough. All right, well, our deck did what we wanted to do. Removal into bombs. All right, I'll see you guys for round three.